Muay Thai is recognized as one of the most lethal martial arts in the world. Fighters skilled in Muay Thai utilize elbows, knees, kicks, and punches, ready to deliver the most punishing blows to their opponents. In this video, we're going to witness some of the most brutal knockout moments ever recorded, showcasing the formidable techniques of Muay Thai. Knee strikes in particular stand out as one of the strongest techniques not just in Muay Thai, but across martial arts as a whole. One such knockout moment featuring a knee strike comes from the match between Kazuki Miburo and Hyung Woo Park. Initially, Miburo was nearly barred from continuing the match due to a severe injury. However, after receiving medical treatment, he decided to push through. In a stunning turn of events, Miburo managed to overpower his opponent, securing a victory in the first round. He ended Hyung Woo Park's resistance with a flurry of body punches, culminating in an epic knee strike that was nothing short of spectacular. Utilizing knee strikes is undeniably deadly, especially when executed in mid-air. The force multiplied by this maneuver is immensely powerful, and the resulting impact can horrifyingly knock an opponent out cold. Such was the case with Jinku Oda's match against Yochi Yamazaki. After three rounds of relentless fighting, with Oda appearing to be on the brink of exhaustion, he suddenly launched into the air and landed a perfectly targeted knee strike on Yamazaki, knocking him out instantly. First round finishes. Oh! Tough way to make a living. What a shot from our Access TV. The fighter featured in the next video takes the intensity to an even higher level. He executes a flying knee strike while simultaneously grabbing his opponent's head, resulting in a devastating blow and a horrifying knockout moment unlike anything we've seen before. When discussing Muay Thai, one cannot overlook the name Sain Chai. This time, Muay Thai legend has dazzled audiences and defeated many opponents with his lethal and captivating attacks. One of his victims was Enrique Muller at the Thai Fight Bangkok in 2017. Sain Chai dominated the fight from the start. However, by the third round, Muller was visibly drained of stamina, and Sain Chai finished the match with his impressively stunning Muay Thai kick technique. Senchai's next victim was Alessio D'Angelo from Italy. As soon as the first round began, Senchai went full throttle, threatening Alessio multiple times with his Muay Thai techniques. Then, a moment later, Senchai's flying kicks successfully landed on Alessio's head, causing him to fall and be unable to continue the match. Kohei Momotaro Kodera, a Muay Thai fighter from Japan, achieved one of the most significant victories of his career. When he faced off against the legendary athlete Sing Tong Noi Por Telakun. Initially, their fight was full of vigor, with both exchanging kicks in the early moments of the match. However, Momotaro quickly took a surprising initiative with a spinning punch that caught Sing Tong Noi off guard causing him to tremble and fall. 
Seizing the moment, Momotaro launched a lethal barrage of punches, knees, and elbows, sending Sing Tonoi crashing to the canvas. Although Sing Tonoi attempted to rise again, the referee immediately stopped the fight as he struggled to stand straight, stumbling and slipping back down. The terrifying effectiveness of Muay Thai was also on full display in the duel between Janet Todd and Ekaterina Vandarieva. These two seasoned fighters initially approached the match with caution, each looking for an opening in the other's defense. As time progressed, the pace of the fight slowed slightly, but the intensity remained high. Janet Todd landed several left hooks and low kicks, while Ekaterina leveraged her reach with sharp, long-distance kicks. However, the crucial moment came in the last minute of the third round. Janet found a gap in Ekaterina's defense and launched a deadly series of attacks. With a precise jab, she paved the way for a roundhouse kick that sailed directly to her opponent's head, knocking her down to the mat with force. This American athlete was then declared the winner by knockout. A similar moment unfolded in the Lion Fight 29 tournament during the match between Regan Irsel and Joe Natawood. This time, it was Joe Natawood who fell victim to Regan's combo attack. The fighter from Thailand was overwhelmed in the final minutes of the match by a terrifying combination of Muay Thai punches and kicks. Rui Botello seemed to have everything under control during his match against Ogasawara at the Pinnacle of Power tournament. Ogasawara struggled at the beginning, finding it hard to close the distance or establish his clinch game. However, Ogasawara didn't give up easily. He executed a surprising move, a spinning elbow strike from behind that caught Botello off guard. This became the turning point for Ogasawara in this fight leading him to an unexpected victory. Harrison kicked off the match with utter domination from the moment the first round bell rang. Utilizing an extraordinary combination of speed and strength Characteristic of Muay Thai, he landed a lethal left hook that sent Mahmud trembling to the mat in the first round. Despite Mahmud's attempts to rise and fight back, Harrison gave him no room to breathe. With unwavering determination, Harrison kept up the pressure, unleashing a series of elbow strikes that brought Mahmud down once again. Mahmud, though injured, refused to give in easily. He got up a second time, but Harrison did not let up on his assault. Finally, Harrison managed to bring Mahmoud down for the third time in the first round, compelling the referee to stop the match and declare Harrison the winner. We've witnessed several knockout moments with Muay Thai techniques, but none quite as terrifying as this. This moment is overshadowed by the instance when Chalawanpur Anut finished off his opponent, Rambong Lisarkanka, with a fearsome combo of punches that left the latter immobilized. This was followed by a spectacular kick to the jaw. Lisarkanka crashed to the canvas with no chance of getting up again.
Never underestimate the power of a Muay Thai fighter's legs. They master this technique, especially those who have risen to superstardom in the Muay Thai arena, like Ratang Jit Muangnon. In this particular moment, Ratang silenced Sokdai with a powerful kick aimed at his opponent's legs. Ratang nearly ended the duel in the final moments of the first round by showering Sok with a barrage of low kicks and hooks, knocking him to the mat. Sok managed to stand up and survive the round. Rodtang's assault continued into the second round, relentlessly delivering powerful low kicks to Sok's legs, ultimately bringing Sok down with a low kick that forced the referee to stop the fight. Turning our attention to the match between Yodsanklai Fairtex and Luis Regis, Fairtex started aggressively, controlling the rhythm and forcing Regis on the defensive. With a series of sharp and dangerous attacks, Fairtex managed to injure Regis with a deadly jab cross combination, followed by three successive uppercuts, landing with precision. This barrage caused Regis to lose his balance and eventually fall to the mat, incapacitated. Oh. All right, Joe took himself out of the ring there with the move. Beautiful oh. right hand and left up, down he goes! Lastly, there's the knockout moment from Tawan Chai's victory over Sean Clancy. The fight began with an exchange of kicks, but Tawan Chai's strikes were more damaging. With precise attacks, Tawan Chai managed to knock Clancy down to the mat with an uppercut followed by a lethal straight punch. In the second round, Clancy tried hard to close the distance and press his opponent, but his efforts backfired when he was hit by a left roundhouse punch to the chin with full force, knocking him out cold on the mat. <laughs> 